First representation number 12 is comparison of hamstring quadriceps functional strength ratio HQ ratio following knee ligament injury between injured and non-injured athletes from universities in Colombo district by Ruani JMR, Vikrama Singha, WVCA, Vanika Singha J. The paper will be presented by Ruani JMR. Good morning all of you. Uh, first of all, I want to thank SLMA for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I am Jema Ruani. I am a physiotherapy undergraduate student from uh, University of Colombo. Today my topic is uh, common knee ligament injury patterns and hamstring to quadriceps strength ratio in injured athletes from universities in Colombo district. Uh, knee ligament injuries are more common among athletes. Uh, athletes are highly uh, active and they are well adapted to uh, regular exercise routines but due to muscle strength imbalance around the knee joint and uh, other defects in the biomechanics they may get uh, lig uh, knee ligament injuries. Uh, the functional lecture ratio is defined as uh, eccentric hamstring muscle strength divided by concentric quadricep muscle strength. The, uh, the ratio is we, uh, the HQ ratio is used to assess the functional ability of the knee joint. My objectives are to describe uh, common knee ligament injuries among athletes and to compare uh, hamstring to quadricep function and strength ratio between injured and non-injured athletes in Colombo district. Uh, a descriptive cross-sectional study was conducted and uh, in three selected universities. I selected University of Colombo, University of Moratu and University of Sri Jayavardhanapura. 80 athletes, both male and female athletes were uh, selected and uh, between the ages of 20 to 30 years and they were grouped as injured and non-injured. The injured group were selected as the uh, the injured athletes, uh, the uh, athletes who had uh, ligament injury during last six months and they have to return to normal sports activities without proper rehabilitation uh, process. Then the uh, interview administered questionnaire was used to uh, get the details of the ligament injury type and the uh, athletic event they were engaged and the muscle strength was uh, uh, measured using the handheld dynamometer. Then the results. Uh, the commonest knee ligament injury among the athletes was found as ACL injury. As a percentage, it was 37.5%. Uh, in, in gender wise, uh, the male group had injured, male group had ACL injury. Then the female group had meniscal injury. The most com uh, the commonest uh, event that the injured uh, athletes were engaged in was uh, short distance uh, running events. In uh, males it was 200 meters and 400 meters running event. In females it was uh, 200 meters running event. Uh, the functional HQ ratio, it was uh, significantly lower in the injured group uh, when compared to non-injured group. To uh, conclusion, the low uh, functional HQ ratio may, might be a risk factor for further ligament injuries in athletes and it will diminish the performance levels in athletes and I suggest to use this uh, functional HQ ratio as a tool in the rehabilitation process. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Now the paper is open for discussion. If you are to make any suggestions to the government, uh, are there other than in the rehabilitation process, is there any other use of your findings in general? your findings of the research, is there any other use other than in rehabilitation process? Uh, if uh, without getting an injury, uh, in, uh, normally athletes, they might uh, have a good uh, proper, imbalance, proper balance in their muscle strength. So if they uh, know about this, they can uh, do their uh, strengthening or practicing sessions with having idea. Not getting uh, before getting an injury. Mm. So, so selecting them and recruiting them also could be arranged yes. uh, based on the findings. Mm. Thank you for your presentation. Let's thank the researcher and the team for the contribution. Thank you very thank much. You.